Hello, and welcome back to Jeff Builds. Today, by popular demand, we're making mech suits. Yes, this is the long-anticipated mech building tutorial video, so please, take notes, leave comments, and if you enjoyed the tutorial, please be sure to like and subscribe. I'm a simple Lego man, so uh, let's push for 70 new subscribers? Alright, let's begin. So, we're back at the Space Base set, in the middle of literal nowhere, and this, with the exception of one or two suits, is my entire collection of mock mechs I made so far. Try saying that three times fast. Mock mechs I made, mock mechs I made, mock mechs I made. <laughs> did it. Before the end of this tutorial, I'll have broken down three of my suits from the most basic to the most awesomest, so you can see the core pieces I used to build them, see some of the techniques I used for building them, and uh, hopefully I'll inspire you, the viewer, to make and share your own mech suits as well. So, right now, we're going to start with a basic green spacesuit. Good for exploring treacherous conditions on alien planets and lifting heavy equipment. This suits the most recent one I put together. Funnily enough, just for this tutorial. It really is a nice mech suit, but uh, it would be a shame if uh, someone were to set it down like this and suddenly... After exploding the build, it does look like a lot of complicated little pieces at first, but if you think about it, so are a lot of the new sets when you open the boxes for the first time and rip open those poly bags. The big takeaway from this is that the mech model itself consists of three major components. The arms, the legs, and the cockpit. This is a very basic model with articulated fingers, arms, legs, knees, and elbows as well as a fully enclosed cockpit for the astronaut to control the mech from for those deep space journeys. One of the major seed pieces that inspired me to make these mech suits to begin with was a specially molded cockpit that was introduced by LEGO in the Nexo Knights Wave 2 Battle Armor set. The first thing we're going to build after putting the cockpit together is the leg. It utilizes the smaller ball and joint connections that were made popular in the Mixels line of LEGO sets, as they are excellent for legs, arms, or any other flexible joints. Another important piece I've used a lot in my mech builds are special bracket pieces. For the legs of my mech, I connected one to a 1x2 plate, and then connected to my core leg piece. And then, I hook another bracket onto another 1x2 plate, and put that on the back of the leg as well. So I have building surfaces on the front and back of the leg, as well as along the outer sides of the leg, to give the model more depth to it, and prevent it from appearing that one side was fully built, while the back of the model has no detail at all. What I did for the feet of this mech was take the ball joint connector piece and sandwich it between a pair of these 3x2 plates, with 1x2 brackets on either side as well to give it more detail, like rivets or an industrial seam along the sides of the legs. Of course, if you don't have those 3x2 plates, you could always improvise and stagger a 2x2 two two and a 1x2 plate together, and you could hide the discrepancy with some master building. Yeah, I literally just slowly took apart one leg and then slowly put it back together, and I'm trying to make sure all the pieces go back to where they belong here. Um, just putting the heel on it. Those all-important brackets that I talked about and didn't put in whenever I told you to put them in, um, this is where you want to put them in.
After this, you add whatever smooth tiles, curved tiles, or special pieces you want for detailing, and when you're done, and if you've done it correctly, you have a solidly built, very stable foot for your Mac. Now, we're working on the arms of the mech. Mechanical arms are very awesome in general, because you can hook all kinds of weapons or tools to them. But, for this mech we're building right now, we're keeping it very simple, by giving it digits or fingers, and building in a clip element for it to hold onto almost any accessory with ease. And that's the arm. Now that we have the arms and legs of the mech assembled, let's go ahead and attach them to the hip and torso of the mech suit. There! It's almost complete. Now, we just have to add some detail into the back of the suit. For all my space mech designs, I have a very simple clip and hinge connection that attaches a domed windshield to the suit itself to give it more of an authentic space explorer look, as well as a special 1x4 exhaust detail brick to make it look even more mechanical as well.
And there it is. The base model for the Space Explorer's heavy mechanical augmented suit. With fully articulated joints and fingers, capable of carrying one pilot and holding almost all clip-on accessories. And that's the video. Thank you for watching and be sure to like him. Hey, first off, that was terrible. It was long and your fat fingers got in the way of most of the footage. And secondly, you said three suits. That was only one suit. Do another one and do it better. Wow, that was, uh, that was very direct. And yeah, I guess I could do a better job of showing more of the parts in this in my hands. Um, let's get to the second mech now. For this build, I used quite a few specialized bricks and tiles to give the mech suit some more detail. Looking at it, I could see this mech being part of either Emtron or Spirus, mostly because the main colors for both of those themes happens to be red.
Alright, and that's the show. Thank you so much for watching, and be sure to... <clears throat> Hello! Oh, uh, hi, Benny. How, how long have you been standing there? Eh, not long. I saw you were talking about mech suits. They're kind of awesome, because they're almost like spaceships for your body! <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that in person you sound almost nothing like Charlie Day? Yeah, I get that a lot, and I still don't know who that is. Ooh, I knew what I was going to say. Uh, maybe you should show them how to do this suit. Because you need a certain technique because you didn't have a certain piece and a certain color. That's kind of important, right? You know what? You're right. As awesome as Legos are to build with, there will come times where you can't find the right part and the right color. Chances are, either you don't have it right now, or it just doesn't exist. But that's no excuse to quit building. A real master builder always finds a workaround, or some other way to complete the build. For Benny's suit here as an example, they didn't make the hood for the cockpit in classic Lego blue, so I ended up finding a workaround and I made one all by myself. But we'll get to that later. Uh, right now, we're going to go ahead and start building the hands. I kind of used an old system that I used for previous mechs where I pretty much had the jumper brick acting as a thumb digit for the hand. Since then, I've kind of updated the design and put the clip for accessories in the hand itself instead of as a digit.
After putting together the arms and the legs, this is how I built the hood for the cockpit. For Benny's suit, I wanted to make it look like something authentic from the classic space line of LEGO sets. I wanted to use a lot of classic LEGO system parts and make it look as bulky and chunky as possible, with a lot of exposed studs on many of the surfaces. And that's an in-depth look at how you can build your own mech suit. If you like this video and want to see more tutorials for original builds like this in the near future, please let me know by liking the video and leaving a comment. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for more original LEGO-related content. This is Jeff Biltz, signing off.